This video is the third in the series on CISO tool in newer versions of MATLAB. So there's been relatively major changes in the presentation and functionality of CISO tool in the new version of MATLAB. So the purpose of this resource is to give a quick overview of how to do proportional compensator design in the new CISO tool. Principally it demonstrates the drag facility. And also the ease with which you can do fine-tuning via the compensator editor. Real-time demonstrations are given during the video to reinforce any of the messages given. Some assumptions then. We're going to take a simple feedback loop of the following form where we've got a process to be controlled D, a compensator M, target R, and then you'll see things like input U, output Y. But the key thing, the key assumption we're going to make in this video is that this compensator is a constant C. Proportional design then. A common requirement is to find the best proportional compensator and this might be true whether poles and zeros are pretty much in the correct place or cannot be changed. We're going to look at two options. One option is to design through root loci where you aim at finding a desired damping ratio for the dominant poles. And a second possible design is via gain and phase margins. So what we're going to do here is demonstrate the use of CISO tool to support these design methods. First then, root loci design. So what is the method based upon? Here, we're trying to make the dominant closed loop poles have a particular damping ratio and specifically you might aim for a damping ratio of about 0.7 which means the real and the imaginary parts of the poles are the same. So that's your basic design method. How do I put the dominant closed loop poles in roughly the right place, in other words to have roughly a damping ratio of 0.7. Now, so that's our method. We're going to aim for 0.7 and the reason for 0.7 is that this maximizes gain while keeping any oscillation to a reasonable minimum. But please remember the 0.7 is a bit of an arbitrary number and it may be slightly different for a different context. We want to show that this is straightforward on CISO tool. And what we're going to do is show how you can drag the closed loop poles to the position you want and therefore drag them to where they've got the damping ratio that you want. And then after that you can actually fine tune by direct entry of the gain C in the compensator editor. So here's a screen dump so you can see the key points. First of all you'll notice if you look at the root loci plot which is over here you have some pink blobs. And these pink blobs denote the current position of the closed loop poles. Now if you put the mouse over one of these pink blobs and then press the button, a fist will appear. And what this says is I've now grabbed hold of that pink blob. And what it means is once it's grabbed hold of the pink blob, as you move the mouse, the pink blob, or in other words the closed loop pole, will move as well. So you can move the closed loop poles along the root loci to the position that you want. And what MATLAB will do in the background is as you move the pink blob it will automatically determine the associated gain C. Some issues then. The root locus editor. Now the root locus editor is given in this tab up here. All right. Why do we want this? It's difficult to move the blobs and see the damping on the scales that the plots often appear in. Here You'll see the scale goes from minus 4 to 1, whereas the vertical scale goes minus 15 to 15. And if I said to you, move those pink blobs to get damping ratio of about 0.7, you'd say, I've got no chance, I can't even see, it's too small. So we need to change the scale. And this is where the root locus editor comes in, because it has things like a zoom facility, so you can expand the plot. So for example, you could expand this bit of the plot here, which I'll use red so you can see, expand this bit of the plot here, so you can see the damping ratio much more precisely. We're going to give a live demonstration and you'll see the point. So here is CISO tool. You can see we've put in a particular system. Now first, demonstrate moving the pink blobs. So if I put the mouse over one of these pink blobs, watch the arrow turn to a hand when it goes over the... See? It's turned to a hand. When I press the mouse, it becomes a fist. And now, by moving the hand left and right, I can move the closed loop poles to wherever 
I want them to be. Now the next question is to say, OK, I want to do some fine tuning. I want to get the damping ratio of these to be roughly 0 0.7. But if I look at the scales, you see the scale is not quite square. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that zoom button and I'm going to make the scale a little bit closer to square by doing that. OK, so now you can see it's roughly square and therefore I can just about see where the damping ratio of 0 0.7 is. You see there's a minus 1 here and therefore damping ratio will be roughly 1 minus 1. So I'm looking for a pole somewhere around here. So how am I going to achieve that? Well, I need to be able to do this drag and drop again. So first I go across, click this arrow so the cursor is reactivated. So you see I've got the cursor over the window and then grab one of the poles and move it until I've got it roughly where the damping ratio is about 0.7. And you can see it's about there in terms of the accuracy you can see with a plot. Now, if you want to do a bit of fine tuning, you can go to the Edit Compensator window. There it is. And you can see, look, the current value it's given me is 0.199. Well, that's roughly 0.2. And if you wanted to, you can change that slightly and see what it does. So issues with drag of root loci. It's quite useful to get a compensated gain to have broadly the correct value. But however, using the mouse precisely can be difficult with small plots, and so you might need some fine tuning. And fine tuning can be done with the compensator editor. Next then, phase margin design. Now in phase margin design, what we're looking for is to get a phase margin often of about 60 degrees, which is what you can see here. So we want to look at how do we do that? Well, what you can do is look at the impact of changing the game plot. So for example, if I move the game plot up, there I've moved it up, I get a different gain crossover frequency. And so if I now go down, you see the phase margin is now pretty small. Alternatively, I could move the game plot down. So there I've moved it down. I get a new gain crossover frequency. And as a consequence, you see, I get a different phase margin. So the key point is that if, as I move the game plot up and down, the gain crossover frequency changes. And as the gain crossover frequency changes, the phase margin changes. So what I'm going to do is move the plot up and down until I get a phase margin of about 60 degrees. So this is a summary. We're going to use the drag facility again. CISO tool allows you to grab the bowed game plot and move it up and down. And then the phase margin changes. So we're simply going to move the game plot until the phase margin has the desired value. To grab the plot, you place the cursor over the game plot, a hand appears, you select the mouse button, and a clenched fist appears. Once you see the clenched fist, you can now move the game plot up and down with the mouse. And the design we're going to do is we're going to aim for a phase margin of about 60 degrees. And you understand that that's an arbitrary choice. And so the key point here is we're illustrating the drag facility. We're not saying this is an ideal design, but we're illustrating the drag facility so you're comfortable with it. If you want to um, expand the plot, use the zoom and do other things, then what you can do is look at the Bowed Editor tab and that will sell you what other options are available. And obviously, if you find using this drag operation is slightly imprecise, which it's likely to be, you can use the Compensator Editor for fine-tuning. So here's an example. You can see where the Bode Editor tab appears, and this tab will appear whenever this window here is active. And obviously, once you press that tab, you can see you have all these other options like Add Poles and Zeros and Zoom and the like. So a live demonstration. So our first thing we want to do is check that we've put the compensator back to 1. So we're starting from a blank screen. So there we've put the compensator back to 1. And now let's have a look at our bode. Now if you look at the bode, you'll see the current phase margin is about 36 degrees. So what I'm going to do is grab the bow plot and you see to do that I simply move the cursor till it goes over the bow plot and then it becomes a hand, click the mouse and it grips. 
And now if I keep the mouse down, I can move the bow diagram up and down, up and down, until I get about 60 degrees. So you can do it reasonably well. You see here I've got 61.7, but it can be quite difficult to be precise. So what I do next is I go back to the compensator editor and say, OK, currently it's at 0.3. I can see the phase margin is slightly too large, so let's increase that and see if that gets me closer to the 60 degrees I want. So you can see if I put some edits into the compensator, I can gradually get quite close to the phase margin that I want. So in conclusion, this video has demonstrated the basic use of the drag facility in CISO tool in MATLAB 2016 for doing proportional compensator design. The drag allows you to quickly, and that's the key point, very quickly without any numeric calculations, put the closed loop poles in the desired position or the phase margin close to the desired value. And you can then use the compensator editor for fine tuning if required. The next video will look at systems where you need to add compensator poles and zeros.